There has not been a definitive book written on the history of dentistry that covers the last half of this past century. The official color of lilac begins in 1894 when an Albany, New York cap and gown manufacturer was pushing the concept of color-coded hoods for graduation ceremonies. In 1957, the S.S. White Company marketed its completely gearless 300,000 RPM Borden air rotor drill. Former Army dentist Stanford S. Golden took it upon himself to convene a group of specialists in California to develop a reclining dental chair that would allow dentists to work sitting down. Robert Arthur, in 1857, published his system of filling teeth with adhesive gold. Upon returning to the United States, he invented his dental engine and rendered the greatest service of his century to restorative dentistry. Dr. G.V. Black made an extensive study of the physical properties of amalgams. It is known that the lost wax method of casting has been used almost from the dawn of written history. In the autobiography of Benvenuto Cellini, the great Florentine goldsmith, describes his method of casting objects of art in both bronze and gold. Metal ceramics. The first reference that I was able to find about the new modern porcelain fused to metal was by S.C. Brecker in 1956. The composite resin systems were introduced commercially in the early 1960s. Despite their seeming advantages, dentists were slow to accept them into their practices. And it was not until the period 1965 to 1968 that most dentists in the United States began to use composite resin systems. Plaster of Paris, or variations of it, were the only materials available in this category until the mid-1930s, when regular 